The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Noctua NH D14 CPU cooler. Super clean looking box. There's lots of pictures, features, and specifications about the product on it. Now let me open it up and see what's inside. Inside they include an accessory box. I'll have a look at what's inside that in just a minute. Very well packaged. cooler is inside of this box and here it is. So let's get back to what's included in this accessory box. A couple of manuals, one for Intel installation and one for AMD installation. Here we have an Intel set and an AMD set. Pretty much all the materials needed here for installation on most sockets. I'll put the complete CPU socket compatibility list on the screen now so you can have a closer look at that. They also include a screwdriver and some common parts. And the common parts include thermal compound as well as a number of power leads. This is a pass-through straight and all you do is connect this end into your motherboard's CPU fan header and these ends into the fans. Now these are a little different. They have little resistor in them and what they'll do is reduce the speed of the fans. Also a number of fan mounts, fan screws, and a case badge. Now this CPU cooler has been around for some time, but it is proven. This CPU cooler is still amongst the top five, top ten best CPU coolers on the market. Sure, it might not be small, maybe it's not super lightweight, but that was really not what it was designed for. It was designed to really perform and keep your CPU cool. It comes with two fans, one 120 millimeter, another sandwiched in the middle, and this one is a 140 millimeter. You can also add another fan on this side if you want to. As you can see, there are plenty of fins. These are all aluminum. There are two sets of these, also six heat pipes which come up on either side. These are copper, also a nice, thick, smooth, solid copper base. And to top it off, everything is nickel plated. There is also lots of soldered joints, so everything is going to stay together. And speaking of that, this particular CPU cooler comes with a six year warranty. Now there's some branding on this, but not a lot. As you can see, their name is stamped at the top right here. This CPU cooler works pretty much the same as any heatsink fan setup, and that is the base plate comes in direct contact with the CPU, it is very hot. The heat pipes will then take that heat away from that base plate into the many fins and the fans then will help move that warm air away from the fins and this cycle continues over and over thus keeping the CPU cool. Now pretty much everything about the heatsink itself is symmetrical but because the stock setup has a single fan on the outside. They're giving this an asymmetrical compatible design and it will be more compatible because let's just say you have something on the motherboard that sticks up quite a bit, maybe memory and so on and so forth. Could be something inside the case or whatnot. Well, you'll have to move the fan from this side to the other side. Now, if you have lots of space, you know, nothing on the motherboard is going to hit or nothing inside of the case. You could, you know, have another fan on this side as well. Not everyone is going to, you know, be rigging up a fan on this side of the cooler, but some will. Some will want to get as much performance as possible, uh, you know, out of this CPU cooler. And you know what? It doesn't have to be, you know, one of the Noctua fans. You can jury rig some other fan to this if you want to. People have done it and you know, performance has probably gotten a little bit better, not a whole lot, but every little bit counts, especially, you know, if you're overclocking. And this fan can be moved up 
or down using these proprietary clips that they have on either side of the fan. Let me just pop this off here to show you that they have these mounts and these are to reduce vibrations. They are on this side as well as on the other side and the middle fan also has them. Now both of these fans come with three pin braided cables. You can either connect them directly into the motherboard's fan headers or you can connect both of these into that Y power adapter and then connect that into the CPU motherboard fan header. First, have a listen to the fans at full speed. And now with the ultra low noise adapters connected. This is still one of the very best CPU coolers on the planet for cooling, keeping the CPU temperature down. And you know what? That's what a CPU cooler is supposed to do. This is more, I think, of an enthusiast's kind of CPU cooler. You know, it's a tad bit on the expensive side. However, it does do what it's designed to do. It looks fantastic, comes with a couple of Excellent fans, you can add another one if you really, really want to. Plenty of fins, all copper heat pipes, copper base. It also is nickel plated. Fit and finish on this is excellent. Comes with a six year warranty. This CPU cooler is basically win-win. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, Take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.